So here's the deal. We are all manifesting our reality 24 seven. It's just that most of us are not consciously doing so, but everything that shows up in your field, everything that shows up in your reality is vibrating in energetic harmony and a harmonic frequency to your body. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in your perception. Your five senses wouldn't be able to pick it up. This is what I share a lot about the science behind this and everything else in my book, Quantum Love, if you want to geek out and really understand what I'm saying. But here's what I wanted to focus on with you in this moment that I think is so important, is that you are manifesting your reality and you have desires and you have wishes and you have longings that you want to manifest. But what you are going to manifest really has nothing to do with what you do. It, I mean, that plays a role and you have to act, obviously take action in the right direction. But when it comes to the manifestation piece, the magic that's available to you, that's available to everyone, every single one of us, it's a matter of what frequency you are holding and does that match what you want to create. Now, here's what we know from quantum love, that the higher your body's energetic frequency, our body's energetic frequency is constantly shifting and changing, usually in relation to people around us, because we're always like human tuning forks. We're all matching each other and reaching a happy medium. This is also why bad moods are contagious or why you sometimes notice hanging out with certain people, even all other things being equal, you feel lifted up versus brought down with nothing necessarily happening. It all has to do with you in training, aligning with their frequency. Now the key is in you holding your own frequency and knowing that the higher your energetic frequency, think of it as like an old fashioned radio dial where there is the station, the frequency you're at and the volume, how intensely strong that frequency is. And our body's frequency is fundamentally set by our thought and feeling state. That's, it's either that that's changing our body's frequency or we're unconsciously matching the people around us or the places around us. So the higher your energetic frequency, the more amazing things you're manifesting in your life. The highest frequency state of being is joy, love, elation, bliss. Those are the highest frequencies. The lowest frequency, shame, guilt, resentment, unforgiveness, these are low frequency states. Now, does that mean you never wanna be in those states and it's wrong to be angry or it's wrong to feel shame or guilt? No, but it's certainly not going to help you manifest what you most desire. If you really wanna become a master manifester, you have to harness and gain control as much as possible of your body's energetic frequency and make it a practice to consistently hold your own frequency in the presence of other people in situations and raise your own frequency on a regular basis. So how do you do that? All right, so I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite ways to raise my frequency because it's always gonna come down or we get unconscious or we get stressed or we get tired, okay. One is to spend time in nature, nature has an extremely high frequency. It always holds steady. It never entrains to us. We entrain to it. That's why when you go out in nature, you end up feeling so much better afterwards. So even if you're just going in and sitting on a little patch of grass in the city where you live or hugging a tree, it is worth it, okay? And even better, if you can ground your frequency, ground your body's energy by being barefoot on the earth in some way, in the grass or the dirt or the mud, I don't care. Another wonderful way to attend to your frequency is water, shower, bath, even better if you can swim in the ocean or the sea. There are tons of ions there that, that are really good for your body and your mind, but you're also, it's, there's something about washing and rinsing. And, you know, some people say this is just for water signs, but I find it's for everyone that really does reset, help reset our energetic frequency. The other thing that really helps is to spend time in quiet every day with conscious awareness and intention. And if you go and check out my manifestation meditation on drlauraberman.com, you will find a meditation that will take you through the process 
of moving your body into the frequency of what you want to create. So it doesn't take long at all, five to 10 minutes. But if you start out your day, rather than hopping right out of bed and getting on your phone and thinking about your to-do lists and looking at your emails and getting stressed out, if you just took five minutes to ground your system and decide how you wanna feel today and move into the energetic frequency of that feeling and pay attention, especially when you're around stressful situations and people, of not letting yourself slide back, but hold your own frequency, everything in your life will change. If you are living at a higher frequency than you usually do 51% of the time, everything in your life will change for the better. But what's important is knowing what those higher energetic frequencies, really anything above curiosity. So it can be curiosity, forgiveness, excitement, passion, joy, play, you know, all of these kinds of uh, feeling states, playful, I guess would be the feeling state, are all high frequency feelings. And when you start paying attention to it, you learn what they feel like in your body and you can anchor those feelings. And in another video, I will share with you a kind of biofeedback system that you can create for yourself so that you can shift out of low frequency states into higher frequency states really easily. Because the better adept you get at that, the easier it is to hold your own frequency and to move back into your high frequency when you want to or when you've been pulled down by someone or something. Now, all of this is not to say that you shouldn't let yourself feel quote unquote bad, right? Because we don't wanna set you up for bypassing the truth of the things that you are releasing or struggling with. There has to be room for you to absolutely process feelings of sadness, grief, anger, loss, frustration. All of those are really important feelings to allow yourself to process and feel and let it move through your body with authenticity. The key is not staying there. And most of us stay there in an unconsciously in a low grade anxiety or depression until it spikes, right? And that is what is really keeping us stuck and keeping us, blocking us from manifesting the life we most desire in love and work and abundance. It's all available to you. We are all creating our realities. Also, if you wanna learn more about how to manifest, make sure to join our Manifestation Mondays Club. You will find the link for that. We meet the first Monday of every month and then halfway through the month just to check in with each other. It's an amazing group of fellow manifestors and it's all about keeping that vibration high, getting clear on what we wanna manifest and removing the blocks that are in the way. And we support each other in that. So make sure to check that out. You can find the link to that on drlauraberman.com. And as always, I'm here for you. Whatever's on your mind, just give me a shout. I'm always here to help you learn to love and be loved better.